Figure 7.3, a chromolithograph, or simply a color lithograph, is an interesting piece for several reasons. It's over the top, perhaps today considered a quaint use of typographical families with all six represented, but also because of a research maxim. You never know where a search might take you. This chromo display card that could be hung by nails or strings from the hose at the top was printed in 1860 within Charles Reen's shop, located, as can be seen at the bottom right, at 42 South 3rd in Philadelphia. Today, the basement apartment goes for a modest $950 a month. Google Maps Street View shows it is near a historical marker at 48 South 3rd. It is where Anthony J. Drexel's transatlantic banking network had its first office. Drexel formed a partnership with J. Pierpont Morgan, moved to New York City, and the company was renamed J.P. Morgan. Drexel came up with a financial concept today known as Wall Street. With his fortune, he founded Drexel University, a private research institution. Today, the company is known as J.P. Morgan Chase and was in the news in 2012 when it was discovered that employees lost about $4.4 billion. Drexel's grandson, Anthony Drexel Biddle, is the subject of Walt Disney's last movie, The Happiest Millionaire, starring Fred McMurray, that came out in 1967. Disney died during its production. Okay, back to the card. The skates could be bought at W.W. W. Knight Sun and Company for as much as $2.50. Adjusted for inflation, that would be about $60 today. The store was located on the same block as Independence Hall, where the Liberty Bell is located. The display card contains a lively skating scene. A woman peddler without skates has items in a basket. Mish Men push women in chairs on skis. A modest couple holds a handkerchief between them. A man has just fallen and has lost his top hat. And a man adjusts a skate while his uh, date looks on concern. Every man and boy wears a hat and every woman wears a hat or scarf and long skirts. There are onlookers along the shore on the brown, snowless hillsides just after sunset. A lookout tower with an American flag can be seen in the distance. A beautiful one-lane bridge spans the river. And then there is the typography. As a rule, you shouldn't use more than two typeface families in a presentation. But for this piece, the typographical choices are as lively as the skating scene. There is black letter in the American skates uh, text. Roman, the location of the skate shop. Script, the uh, skate straps for all kinds constantly on hand at the bottom. At the bottom. Miscellaneous, the 3D effect of the store's name. Square serif, Philadelphia and skates of all kinds are examples. And finally, sans serif, cast steel skates, German and English. So there are at least three lessons learned from this display card. Use Google Maps to look up locations. Always adjust historic amounts for inflation. And make sure you have a good reason for using all six typeface families.